Hey guys, welcome back to Roblox Pig. Today we'll talk about why Mackenzie Turner is evil. Let's head into it. Number one, Mackenzie Turner. Mackenzie Turner is a Canadian social media sensation renowned for her humorous and impersonation based video clip material under the username at Mackenzie Turner Zero on TikTok. Mackenzie was born on January 14th, 1999 in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Mackenzie Turner will be 22 years old in 2021. She rose to fame because of her TikTok username, which is recognized for her funny and impersonation based video clips. On the she has over 3.8 million fan followers. She also has a YouTube channel called Mackenzie Turner Roblox, where she posts videos about lifestyle and video games. She goes by the handles at Mackenzie Turner Zero on Instagram and at Kenzie Turner Zero on Twitter. Today we're going to discuss why Mackenzie Turner is not a good person. Number two, superiority and entitlement. The most common symptom of narcissism is superiority. This is not the same as having self-assurance. The narcissist universe is divided into good or bad, superior or inferior, and right or wrong categories. Degrees. Mackenzie Turner is at the top of the hierarchy, which is the only place they feel comfortable. Mackenzie must be the greatest, the most knowledgeable, and the most capable. She must do everything her way, own everything, and have complete control over everyone. Surprisingly, being the worst, the most incorrect, or the most unwell, unhappy, or damaged may give narcissists that superior sensation. Then they believe they have the right to comfort and repay you, as well as the right to demand you, as well as the right to damage you or demand apologies to make things even. Vulnerable or covert narcissism is the term for this. Number three excessive desire for attention and approval. Another common narcissistic character is a persistent demand for attention, which can manifest itself in the form of following you around the house, asking you to find items or continually saying something to get your attention. Validation is only valuable to a narcissist if it comes from others. Even then, it isn't very useful. The urge for affirmation in a narcissist is like a funnel. You pour nice, encouraging words in and they simply flow out the other end and vanish. No matter how much you tell Mackenzie that you love, appreciate or approve of her, she never believes it enough because she doesn't believe anyone can truly love them. Despite their self-absorbed, grandiose boasting, narcissists are insecure and afraid of failing to measure up. They are continuously attempting to gain praise and acceptance from others in order to bolster their fragile egos, but no matter how much they receive, they always want more. Number 4. Perfectionism Mackenzie Turner may be identified by her insatiable need for everything to be flawless. She thinks that she should be flawless, that you should be flawless, that events should unfold exactly as they expect and that life should unfold exactly as they imagine it. This is a near impossible requirement that leaves the narcissist unhappy and unpleasant for most of the time. The narcissist's need for perfection causes him to whine and be unsatisfied all of the time. Number 5. Excessive need for control The quintessential Mackenzie Turner trait is attempting to take control of everything. Because Mackenzie is always dissatisfied with the way life develops, she tries to exert as much control as possible over it and modify it to her liking. She needs and demands control and her feeling of entitlement leads her to believe that she should be in charge of everything. Narcissists have a preconceived notion of what each character in their encounter should say or do. They grow agitated agitated and restless when you don't behave as expected. Because you're off script, they're not sure what to anticipate next. They want you to say and do precisely what they want in order for them to accomplish their desired outcome. You're not a genuine person with your own ideas and feelings. You're a role in their mental theatre. Number 6. Lack of accountability. Blaming and avoiding responsibility. Mackenzie Turner's lack of accountability is an obvious symptom. Although narcissists seek to control, they never want to be held accountable for their outcomes. Unless, of course, everything goes their way and their desired outcome occurs. When things don't go as planned or when they feel judged or less than flawless, the narcissist blames and holds you responsible. It has to be the fault of someone else. It's easy to generalize the blame and assume that everyone is out to get them. The narcissist, on the other hand, frequently blames the other person in their life who's the most emotionally close, connected, loyal and loving. To keep up the pretense of perfection, narcissists must continually point the finger onto someone or something else. Because you are the least likely to leave or reject them, you are the safest person to blame. Many people lack boundaries or often breach other people's boundaries, but this is standard behavior among narcissists. Narcissists are unable to distinguish between themselves and you. They remind me a lot of two-year-olds. They believe that everything is theirs, that everyone thinks and feels the same way they do, and that everyone desires the same things. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos after on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.